guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with Alexa Pacheco Games. On the last episode, we had a pretty heavy plot episode, so if you've not seen it, I definitely recommend you go back and watch that before you go any further in this video, because I'm about to tell you what happened. So, we went to school on Friday, April 15th, and it seemed like it was going to be a normal day until uh, Ann's best friend, Suzui Shiho, decided to jump off of the roof of the school in a suicide attempt. Er, uh, we obviously were very shocked about this. Er, uh, we went to go and track down Mishima, who ran away from the scene of the incident. Er, uh, and he told us a bit more about Kamashida's abuse, as well as the fact that he must have- Kamashida must have treated Suzui even worse after Ahn turned him down yesterday. Yikes. Anyway, um, that happened. So we decided to go up to the rooftop and talk with Morgana. Uh, actually, it wasn't even the rooftop, it was the courtyard. We went, we went and talked with Morgana and decided that yes, we wanted to go and do what Morgana was asking and to steal Kamashida's heart because it seems to be the only way that we can get rid of him, especially now that the stakes have been risen with people actually, you know, going to such lengths to try and end it. Um, However, as we went into Kamashita's palace, we were followed in by Ahn, who wanted to know what we were doing and wanted in on it. She got taken away by some guards while we were in a safe room, and we ended up going to save her, only for her to then awaken to her own persona, Carmen, as we fought against a toilet demon summoned by Kamashita. Our after that, we pretty much just left with Ahn and she decided to join us as we try to steal Kamashita's heart. So now we have a little bit more of a party on our hands. And then we came back home. Morgana is now living with us because he needs to be able to stay in touch with us. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that happened, I believe. I do actually want to very quickly look at Ahn's persona because we've not looked at it yet. We've not looked at Carmen yet. So we need to. All right, this is Carmen. She is obviously fire dominant. Er, and she has a background. A gypsy thief from the novel by Mary May. Mary May? I've never heard that name before, I'm sorry. Which became famous through the opera by Bizet, which I've heard of. She is a femme fatale who is beautiful, but also very capricious. And, uh, oh, 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 that's what that does. Oh cool, okay, that's that's what it looks like when she's summoned by Ahn. Huh. Well cool. This is this is us rotating her now. Woo. She has like a cigar in her mouth and she's got I okay. It, it, uh okay, it gets blocked off by her dress, I think, but Yeah, she's got two heart guys who are getting <laughs> stomped on and, and stuff. <laughs> Dear god. Yeah. Carmen. She's got a cool design. Actually, the interesting thing that I forgot about last time is our other personas that we've been picking up in the palace, they all have backgrounds as well. So I did not mean to switch over to Pixie, but sure. Um, if we go here, we can actually go to background and they actually all have their own backgrounds as well. Unfortunately, the thing with these personas is they, there are over a hundred of them. <laughs> I believe well over a hundred actually. And I, I don't have the time to read out every single one of these, so I'll leave them up for a second if you want to read through them. Um, but yeah, that that's that's what we got. So, now that that is done, I want to look at a couple of things in our room now, because we have Morgana, and I'm wondering if, if he's going to comment on the things in our room. Because I've not really looked at anything since before he joined us, so now I'm curious. So let's examine a few things, see if you'll talk. Wow! What a huge cardboard box! Oh, that's your stuff in there! If you have Persona 5 save data, you can receive various benefits. Use the benefits? Oh, uh... I've already decided not to for now, just in case, because I don't know exactly what it does yet. Once I know what it does, I might, but for now, no. You can access the save data benefits at any time by accessing the cardboard box in your room. Thank you. I believe also actually we should get all of the... Maybe it's in the cardboard box. We should be able to get all of the base DLC... Sorry, all of the DLC that was originally available for the base version of Persona 5. Um, 
because they were kind enough to actually include all of that with Royal for anyone who plays the game, I believe. Um, <laughs> the thing with all of the original DLC is I already had it on the base game because I bought the base game when it was on sale and it was the version that had all of the DLC and it was 20 quid <laughs> instead of 80, so I bought it. Um, I did not buy the DLC for P5R. <sighs> Maybe one day. Anyway, let's look at this table. We could better utilize this space. Look at all this junk, though. I bet you'd find a TV in here if you cleaned up a little. I... You think there's actually a TV in here somewhere? I'm not so sure about that, but we can always look. Oh! That desk looks like it could be pretty useful. But you can just clean it later. For now, let's call it a day and get some sleep. Morgana, please stop. I want to clean my room. <laughs> This is definitely a storage area. Yeah, how could you tell? <laughs> Listen, I'm not very well liked, Morgana. <laughs> it's so untidy. Books are even sticking out of the shelves. Yeah, well, he didn't exactly take care of his storage space, I guess. Sojourner, I mean, not me. <laughs> anyway, I think that's everything. Let's just head to bed, because we have already sat on the couch last time. Well then. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Keep it together, all right? Let's sleep. I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me? I'm pretty sure it's just Morgana, but okay. <laughs> That's cute. Oh! It may be crowded, but it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky. Hmm. Hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to some good use. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I... I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? Well, that's not good. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? Well, what should I do? Am, am I gonna die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic, come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc doctor? She was wearing punk clothes. No! That's not what is that's not what's important here. Though she did have an interesting fashion sense. It might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Morning. Hi, Ryuchi! I didn't expect you to pop up. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Yo, morning, Ren. What are you doing here? Let's head to school together. I mean it's right there, but whatever. Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now, we're in class. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? Where exactly is this hideout? School roof? Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come on up once school's over. Gotcha. I'm gonna find you if you're late. Hey, are you listening? Hey, I'm a Mia. You pay attention. Is this how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> he hit him right in the forehead. Pay attention. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. <sighs> Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. 
Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Uh, what business? Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Hey, remember that customer you- Oh my god, I can't read. Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribes medicine after a quick examination? She was sitting in a booth. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. Hey! She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, there are people we could talk to, actually. Let's just uh, do a bit of that. Hi. Your voice is so quiet, Sonny. You're mumbling. Are, the, are all the kids these days like that? I can hear you, but just keep that in mind. So what was that about kindergarten? <laughs> I don't think that's why I was talking about to you, but okay. Sorry. Maybe you're losing your hearing. Or maybe we do just mumble. Hi. Oh, I've heard of her. You should steer clear of the private physicians. Larger hospitals are much better because they've got so many more talented doctors. The doctor I go to works at a major hospital, but he's very good. Or at least he feels reliable. Well, that's good, I guess. Maybe you should get some other, like, opinions of the doctor. But if it feels reliable to you, then fair enough. Uh, is anyone down here? Just out of curiosity. Hi! Hmm? Did you want to listen in? We received a postcard asking us, what's causing all these accidents? Some people are saying it has to be some kind of curse. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. Hogwash. Oh, hogwash. That all happened because those people didn't take good enough care of themselves. Yeah, maybe. So I was, I was noticing these posters here. I, I've never actually noticed them before. Maybe they're new? Maybe they're not? Look at that, it's like a holiday thing. There's like a cruise liner. The Easter Island eggs. Eggs? Heads. Then like Egypt. And then I'm not sure where that hilly place is, but that's cool. And then like a, a dog with a Sherlock Holmes hat. Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm getting really distracted. <laughs> These are just little details I've never spotted before. It's really interesting. Anyway. There have been scandals lately. Mm. Hi there! Hey! Wow, looks like they have a lot of things. First though, we need to find that clinic. Okay, okay Mona, we will look for the clinic. Maybe I should actually be calling you Mona in the outside of the metaverse. Can I look at these? Mm. The shop owner isn't even here? We can't even ask about, ask about the clinic then. You're really insistent about the clinic, huh? Hey, you don't have time to take a break and buy drinks. Hurry up and take us to the clinic. I believe everything I look at is going to be, take us to the clinic. Oh, oh there are batting cages here. First, though, we need to find that clinic. The word clinic is slowly starting to lose meaning. Hey, hey. I don't see anyone who seems like a doctor in this place. Well, that's because it's a supermarket. <laughs> Unless she was getting her shopping. Um, no one seems to be down here by Sojiro's house. Maybe the doctor's in his house. Oh. Whoa, so this is the chief's house. This isn't the place we're looking for, though. That's fair, okay. Uh, to be fair, boss, boss, Sojiro, you know, same deal. He should be, uh, LeBlanc right now, probably. Hi! I, what? He's, he's looking over at the theater. Okay, interesting. 
Hi. How you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. No, let me talk to this man! Oh, to Kemi Medical Clinic? It's right in front of you. I'm tempted to go in myself, but those rumors... I wish I had the guts to go in like you. You're sick. Please just go to the doctor. Any doctor. Just... If it feels sketchy when you're in there, leave. <laughs> My god. Okay, let, let's let's go inside the clinic. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Hmm. Maybe I think it'd be difficult if we were being honest, right? Because what well, the truth is, oh hi, we're a student that's going into a metaphysical manifestation born of someone's distorted desires, and we need some medicine so we don't die in there. Like that, that's a difficult thing to explain to someone. Uh, I guess we'll just have to make something up. We'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. Alright, let's step inside. Ooh! Hello, how are you doing? I'm gonna have a quick look around first. Health Bulletin April Edition. Watch out for hidden light insomnia. This is what it says. I wonder if having strange dreams is one of the symptoms. Oh, so he thinks he might have hidden light insomnia because of his weird dreams about being in jail. Fun! Hi there, how are you doing, languid doctor? Well, is this your first visit? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. At LeBlanc. Well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? I've... Hmm. Which one do I go for? Let's go for the top one. My body feels lethargic. Hmm. Fine, please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that all you have? Hmm? You're the patient here, you know. Do you think you should be telling me how to do my job? So, it's just like I thought. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? That's right. You're one of those patients with an ulterior motive, huh? What's the world coming to? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. That'll really help. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. So this is all I've got right now. Okay, which one? Ah, thank you! So this is, this is our doctor, I guess. She she caught on pretty quickly to the fact that we were lying. But yeah, that's that's fine. It's cool. Um It was kinda difficult actually doing the voice before like when it was the unvoiced lines because I knew that her voice actor had been changed. She had a different voice actor in the original. So I didn't know what she was gonna sound like. Well we know now though. Uh what is that's a hundred oh that's a hundred HP. They're nice. Ooh. You want that one? Yeah, let's have two of 
No, just one. Just one of those. Thanks. And that maybe two of these. Work. Two of these. Here you go. Thank you. It's weird hearing these lines in a different voice. I mean, it's a good voice. She's got she's got a nice voice, but man, it, it's strange. Uh, I don't want to use all of my money, so I'll leave it at that. Take care. Then good luck with that. What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stomachache, athlete's food? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this! You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine! <sighs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me! Rumor has it is a drug so potent it can give a person a limited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that. I'm just a quack. The police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <sighs> What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your current uh, criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tai Takemi will never. Hey, is somebody there? Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. It sounded like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? Oh, he could use that. Yes. I agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at a palace. Alright, let's come back when that man isn't there. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? Okay. Anyway, great work. That went really well. So, you know that store I mentioned with the model guns? It's in Shibuya. I can go with you if you want. Sounds good. Sweet. Well, let's figure out where to meet. You'd at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, yeah? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check out the place for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I make plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. Well, see you at Shibuya, Ren. I'll be in front of the station. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real, real fun starts. Got it? I'm absolutely sure that you are not lying to me, Morgana. Love ya. I... Yeah, they added some new details in the doctor's clinic that I noticed when that conversation was going on with the man. Like, the the clock above the, the registry desk was broken and then some of the windows were broken as well. That's interesting, I never noticed those in the original versions, so it's, it's nice to see these extra details. Hi Mona, how you doing? Hmm, Shibuya. Well, I know where it is, but I can't seem to remember whether or not I've actually been there. Mona, are you okay? Hmm, it must be really difficult not remembering anything. Let's turn in for the night. Aren't you going to Shibuya tomorrow? Let's just call it a day and go to sleep. <sighs> the cats nestle close to their kittens. <laughs> the lambs have laid down with the sheep. <laughs> oh god, Mona, please. <laughs> hey! Don't worry, I came up with some ideas for infiltration tools. I'll tell you about them once you've made your preparations. Okay, Mona, whatever you say. Can I, are these going to show anything different, or are they just going to be the same? Mm. Nope, nothing. Okay. Once we find prospects for procuring weapons, we should clean up this room. That's a new light. Thank you. Let's clean up this room once we can. But before we even do that, let's sleep. Okay. You're meeting up with Ryuji tomorrow, so don't oversleep.
What's that? Looks like you made it. The shop's on Central Street, so we gotta go through the crossing to get there. There's a crossing? That's what we call the Shibuya Crossing. It's this huge intersection with people crossing the street from every direction. Once we get past that, we'll pretty much be at Central Street. Let's go! Alright, let's get going. This is such a pretty environment. Okay, so I guess we got to head through Shibuya Crossing to get to Central Street. What is- Hey! You have to follow Ryuji. What will you do if you lose him? But what's that? What? Hey! What is it though? I wanna know! I've never seen that structure before. Oh, I want to explore. Also, Ryuji's not even going anywhere. He's just staying with me. Also, I like your hoodie. It says 777 on it. <laughs> okay, um... Look at these trees. Gorgeous. Okay. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs. No savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. He had some good points though. A lot of young people are really struggling just to make ends meet. Everyone. Strange incidents are occurring. What is the cause of them all? The runaway train incident? The mysterious psychotic breakdown phenomenon? These are all signs of the end of our once peaceful days. The most important thing is... Now is the time for our politicians to show their strength, and yet... Hey, hey! If you're interested in politics, we should come back another time. Yeah, maybe. Might be interested to hear more of this guy's points. I... Oh! Hey, they've got foreign uh, tourist people. Hi. I've, I've never noticed those people before. Maybe they're new. Man, they put so much detail into this game. I heard his personality change all of a sudden. He doesn't even remember. Ooh. Can I look at this map? No, it just says go to Central Street. Well, let's go. Follow me. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Oh, oh, he is actually moving. Okay, okay. Uh, can I talk to this sketchy guy? Hi. Hey, you a student? Looking for a part-time job? It's easy money. I can make a recommendation just for you. Hey! Hey, you lose track of Ryuji if you waste time with this guy. Don't you want some pocket change? I can help you out. I'm not interested. Huh, that's disappointing. Well, come back if you change your mind. Let's go. Hey, we need to go after Ryuji. This guy's eyes are really sunken. Is he okay? <laughs> Hi. Oh, but there's more people to talk to. Hey. Hey, it's this way. Yeah. This is it. Pretty legit, right? Oh my god, I can't even speak today. This is it. Pre pretty, pretty legit, huh? This is exciting. Oh, are you into this sort of military stuff? Anyway, let's check out what's inside. I... I mean, I'm not really into military stuff. I just think it's cool. <laughs> like, can I talk to this guy now? Hi, are you okay? Ugh, you surprised me. Don't go into that alley. I just saw a punk, a blonde punk, just head in. I, he's standing right here. <laughs> I, hello. How, how are you, random, kind-looking young man? What? I'm just out here getting some fresh air. I've lost a bunch of games in a row, so I'm taking a break. That's a good idea. Good way to clear your head, just get step away from the game console. Hmm? What should I get? I like the spring special burger, but I might just go with the Big Bang like I always do. Well... I'm sure you'll figure something out. They're all burgers in the end. Hi! Nope, your voice is way too high-pitched. Women are disgusted by that and they'll ignore you. To be honest, I'm feeling like maybe I'm a lost cause. Listen, women are delicate, like cotton candy. Don't get clumsy and you'll get to have a taste. A lot of strange stuff has been going on lately, so talk about that to break the ice. Got it? 
Why? <laughs> Why are there pickup artists just standing around here? Oh god. Hello. You're late. The movie's already half over. And I really wanted to see this one too. You could have at least told me where you were. You can go to the movies anytime you want. There'll be more opportunities. Oh, how about we rent a DVD instead? We can go back and chill at my place. Well, fair enough, I guess. That is an alternative. Oh? Oh, a movie theater. They're currently playing... Hey! Hey, we're going to the weapon store. Let's watch a movie another time. We should go and watch a movie sometime, Ryuji. That'd be fun. Okay, sorry. Let's go back to Shibuya. Not Shibuya. Central Street. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go and head into the, the the gun place. Untouchable. Great name. I... Wait, you're just looking at those cardboard boxes? Are you okay? What's so interesting about them, huh? I, no, it's the trash bags. Why do you do this? Okay. <laughs> Let's head on in. Oh yeah, uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? Nah, I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this! You can now quick travel to the airsoft shop in Shibuya. Well, hello there! Uh, don't mind us novices, just walking in here. Actually, it's kind of cool. I My sister's boyfriend is into airsoft and sometimes I talk to him about it. So I, I actually know quite a bit about airsoft now, I think. Obviously, I've not like played it myself, but I went and I watched a match once and it was really interesting. A match, a game. It's not called a match. That's just stupid. Let's talk to the guy. <laughs> you know what you want yet? You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. What do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Uh, can't remember you. You bastard. And you? Looking for something? Err, uh, well, a fancy model gun just sounds stupid. Something that looks real. Oh, you guys planning a nice big bank robbery or something? What? That ain't it. We just like how they look is all. <laughs> Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. We'll be careful. Promise. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Tutorial! Types of equipment. You can purchase model guns, ranged weapons, melee weapons, protectors, and accessories at the airsoft shop. Melee weapons will increase the power of your normal attacks, which may be useful for those who want to be enemies without using skills. Ranged weapons increase the power of your gun attacks. These deal more damage than melee weapons, so they may be more useful against tough enemies. Protectors decrease the damage you take, vital to lasting longer in battle. Accessories have a variety of effects, such as providing skills and protection against stat assailments. Okay, well you've only got 6,000 6, yen, so... Gotta be careful about what we're gonna buy. This is such a cool menu and I love this song! Oh my god, it's called Layer Cake. It's a real good song. <laughs> anyway, um... 
Ryuji wants us to buy something for him, but I think the guns are kind of expensive. Right. Let's have a look. All right, which one? Yeah, that's four thousand yen. That's most of the money that Ryuji gave us. Although I can buy the governance for us. Oh, that's cool. We only just got our gun though. Um, what can we get by the way of melee weapons? Okay. Sounds good. Ooh, I can get a new hell a hell slugger and iron pipe. Hmm. I don't know how useful it would be for me to buy a ranged weapon at this point. I could buy a kukri, or I could buy a blizz dagger. I just got a new dagger as well, though, so I'm I'm not that bothered about getting a new dagger for myself. I could buy a falchion for for Morgana, or a bandit sword. He's already got the bandit sword though, um, or a fundo kasari. An just joined us though, so it's kind of pointless getting her a new whip. Um, how about right. ranged weapons for Morgana and An? All right, which one? I can't believe you sell slingshots, but okay. <laughs> or, uh... Okay, model gun based on... Yeah, okay. Huh. How about protectors? I, I like defense. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, I can buy some shoulder pads or a lynx camo vest. Um... Both of those are a little bit better. Um... I'm not sure how important it is to buy these right now though, because we might get some in chests if we're lucky. Hmm. You know what, for now, I think I'll go ahead and buy a All melee right. weapon for Ryuji, right. since Which he's one? got pretty good strength. Uh, they're both better, but that one's got worse accuracy, so I might get in the Hell Slugger. Hmm, that one? You better not use it to pull a prank. Alright, let's equip it. Uh. Should we just sell that? I usually keep them because I feel like weird about selling them, but it's good to get the money back as well. It's not like we need it for anything. Oh well, thank you for buying that. Um, should I buy a new dagger? I don't really want a new dagger. Um, I might get something new for right, Morgana. Oh, I can't buy the falchion, so there's no point. Um. I've not got that much money left then. Uh, can I okay. buy a protector? Sounds good. I can buy the Link's Camel Vest, but that's not great. Or I can buy the Memorial Collar from Morgana. Um, I might buy the... Oh, I wouldn't have much money left though. I'd be broke. Eh, let's do it. Do I get? Uh, and yeah, let's sell the Necrochief. Okay. That should be fine, probably. Oh yeah, we can also buy accessories. Um, All right, which, which one? it might be good to get some of these as well. Um, but if I knew anything about this game, it's that we'll probably get a ton of them as we go through the game, so yeah. We can also sell stuff, but I don't think we've picked anything okay. up. Yeah, we've not got any treasure yet. Um, and obviously melee weapons and stuff I don't want to sell. Although I could sell my rebel knife. So that can go. You should be grateful. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, come again. Oh yeah, there's something you should know. I don't buy a, off any model guns from other people, so keep that in mind. I don't want to deal any problems with buying something that's already been modified. Later. And that's all I got to say. Who else are we gonna get model guns from? This is like probably the only airsoft shop in the city, right? <laughs> At least the only one that we know of. Well, in any case, we got some new equipment, so let's head- Oh, I can look at the ad stand! This looks like an ad for a model gun. These are all terms that I don't recognize. Are you interested in that revolver? It's equipped with a full barrel shroud and the effect of the stabilizer is outstanding. The spring is stainless steel. If you're just collecting, I can put it in- I can put it in a dummy cartridge. Okay, sure. Oh yeah? I guess you must be careful tonight. Yeah, a dummy cartridge is probably going to make sure that it doesn't fire, right? Maybe? Probably? Something to do with that? I feel like- can I read that again? Err... Uh, a full barrel shroud and the effect of the stabilizer is outstanding. The spring is stainless steel if you're just collecting it. Yeah, the spring is what makes it actually fire, so... A dummy cartridge is probably going to make sure that if it- Like, it won't fire anything. And if it does fire, then it won't do anything. Probably. I would imagine. I don't know. I've not actually heard this that term before, but I know what the spring is, kind of-ish. 
Oh god. What's that? What if I say I'd rather not? <laughs> well, I don't blame you. If you wanted to show off, that'd be the way to go. You know what? I'm gonna have to ask my sister's boyfriend what any of this means. <laughs> I know some things, okay? It says, taste test, the rations of the world, volume 37. It costs 800 yen per go, but you want to give this a go? I don't have that much money. Let's, hmm. Let's give it a try. We got an oatmeal ration. The capsule's a bit sticky. Not too bad. What does it do? Oatmeal ration. Fit to go. Restores 30% HP to one ally, but lowers accuracy evasion and raises attack. Yikes. Might be a bit careful about using that one then. Okay, well, let's just head on out. Hmm? You going home already? Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Give me the strongest looking one. Don't worry, Ryuji, I have no other strategy. <laughs> Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. Hm, how rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hmm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. How's business? It doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. But what if it does fail? Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. Be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. So I went to see Shiho in the hospital. How was she? Her condition is stable. They don't know when she'll be able to regain consciousness, though. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah. She'll get better. I know it. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's gonna pay for what he did, no matter what. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Well, Morgana, I've been waiting for you to ask me to clean. <laughs> um, hi. How you doing? Okay. I'll teach you all about how to make infiltration tools. Hey, you need to clean up your desk first, though. Get on it. Okay, okay. It was interesting to hear that conversation with Sojiro, actually. About the fact that he doesn't wear a fake smile and how this cafe is his own personal hideaway. I wonder what made- what happened before in his life to make him- want just a place where he can be left alone. Hmm. It's curious. Hey! It's no use ignoring it. Just clean up the desk already. Well, what if I procrastinate just a little bit longer, Morgana? Hey! Are you listening to me? Your desk isn't gonna get clean if you just sit there. But Morgana! Hey! Forget that area for now. We should clean the desk first. <laughs> how, how long can I do this for before it gets really irritating? Hey! No, not there. Let's put it on the work desk. But Morgana... Wow! Oh, that's just that. Okay. 
Oh, wait, who cares about that? Hurry up and clean the desk! I, I don't- I don't want to use the benefits. Okay. I- can I go to bed? <laughs> What's over here? Hey! Uh, no, not there, the desk! How about the bed? Now then. <laughs> I'm- God, Frank. <laughs> I'm not letting you go to bed until you clean up that desk! But Morgana, you're always telling me to go to sleep. Why no? Okay, <laughs> let's clean the desk. That desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Let's clean this up. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Making infiltration tools. With the necessary materials, you can make various infiltration tools. They will be quite useful during palace exploration. Make sure to bring some along. Making tools will cost time to pass, but it will improve your proficiency as well. Each time this ranks up, you can make one additional tool. During bad weather, your focus will allow you to make an additional tool. Check out all the shops and track down various crafting materials. I don't think the bad weather thing was a thing before. I don't think that, that allowed you to make an additional tool before. That's cool, so I wonder if that's just like really, really bad weather or if rain even counts. Hmm. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, well my proficiency is currently real low, so we'll try our best. Oh, it tells how many you have left now as well. They've done really well at adding stuff. So we can make a few different things. We can make a go home. M. <laughs> Or a go home, <laughs> uh, which kicks you out of the palace, uh, or rather takes you back to the edges of the palace so you can go home. Uh, we've got a smoke screen which makes enemies not see you for a certain amount of time. I think a calming aroma which I've never heard of. I don't. I think that's new. A tonic that calms an en enemy's nerves, lowering a palace's security level. Oh, that used to have a different name. Was it? Was it, was it something to do with deodorant? Or was it stealth and all? I can't remember. They've changed it anyway. And then there are battle things as well that we were all allowed to make at the moment, but yeah. So let's just go ahead and make a lockpick. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Let's make it! Got a lockpick! Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. And we got some points into proficiency. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes, he lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Excuse us. 
after you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamushida? Why do you ask? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Of course not. All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. That was a new scene there. Wow, okay. Kawakami, please, don't listen to Kamashita. Okay, sorry. So I saw Kamashita at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with a shit-eating grin on his face. Uh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. We're definitely gonna pull this off. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting is May the 2nd, right? We've just got to take care of this before then. I'm ready for this. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going to go into the palace. He got in trouble on the first day of school. Those guys are getting expelled. Nobody wants a troublemaker in school. Everyone's got high hopes for the new girl, Yoshizawa-chan. Damn, she's fun. I wonder if I have a shop with her. Okay, it's finally time to set the plan in motion. I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave the planning to you. Palace infiltration deadline. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant and be aware of the time remaining. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure a successful infiltration. Mission start! What to do next? When you have some free time and don't know what to do next, press the touchpad to open the assist command to view what you can do and who you can see. Oh, this is new, okay. If network functions are on, which they are at the moment, you can use the directional pad to view the activity log. This will enable you to see what the other players did on this day in the calendar. The activity log is a support tool that can assist you during your free time. If you would like to know more about it, check the corresponding tutorial. That is new and also really? very cool. So hold on. Okay, we have a text from Ryuji about the palace. Let's not look at that right now. We have, I, we can dash in the real world now? This was not a thing we could do before. They've added so much stuff, oh my God. Let's have a look at this assist menu. Assist commands. When you are at a loss, assist commands can give you recommendations based on your current conditions for activities to do and confidants to see. Press triangle to open the confidant assist to see which confidant is recommended for that time of day. Press X to open status assist to see which daily activity is recommended for you. Press square to gather everyone at the hideout. Also, if you have network functions on, you can use the, the thingy to view the activity log. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's using the battle menu, but as a thing in the real world. That's so cool. So you can go straight to the hideout from here. That's really interesting. That's really useful. Status is open social status. Oh, so okay. The best thing for us to do today would be to study, to get our knowledge up. Our, and you can go straight there. Oh my god. This is 
really cool. Holy cow. This is a way of doing things quickly. And then there's confidence. It wants us to go to the languid doctor in Yonge Jaya. We've not actually got that confidant yet, so let's just ignore that. And then network. This was a thing in the original game anyway, but you used to just press the touch pad and it would come immediately up with this. Uh, so most people do thievery today, but some people have spent time with the doctor and some people have done some studying. Huh. Interesting. Everyone's average level is seven. I believe we're only at level four or five. Um, let me cancel out of that and then menu. We are currently level five, yeah, okay. We might need to level up just a little bit then. But, uh, I think for now we're actually going to end things off because we're pretty much at the end of the episode and from now on we have a lot more free reign of what we want to do, so I guess it'd be a good idea for me to sit down and think about how we're going to do this. <laughs> because this game requires a lot of thought in terms of planning. <laughs> so, hi! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including the past three days. <laughs> our time at school, our time getting things from the doctor and also things from the airsoft shop, um, the weird conversation with Kawakami we just had about Yoshizawa? Yoshizawa. Interesting surname for the red-haired girl. Um, and also just all of our run-ins with Kamashida, I guess. Yeah, if you have any thoughts on any of that, feel free to let us know down below. And what's more? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.